Hello everyone, I'm Liu Shi. Thanks for you to attend today's case discussion meeting. Let me introduce our group member first. They are Li Siling, Zhou Ziwei, and Liu Xiaoguo. In our case, I'm the manager of FIRE, which is a busy city center restaurant catering many to local office workers. There are two characteristics of my restaurant. Firstly, I'm proud of my delicious food and excellent service. These are reasons why my restaurant is so popular. On the other hand, as we all know, there are many casual labor in this industry and the return over rate is so high. However, in food file, most of my staff have been with me since I opened it three years ago. Unfortunately, now we are facing a serious problem. That my head chef told me that she is HIV positive. She is the soul of my restaurant, in my opinion. In order to maintain my business and protect her rights, I do not want to fire her. However, as a manager, I am concerned about this news could influence the other staff or even my customers. What should I do to address this issue? After stakeholders meeting, concerned about the reputation of our food, we decided that we will definitely say no to file the chip. Next, next, my partner will illustrate why we have this decision. Firstly, we will analyze this case according to utilitarianism theory. As a manager, we need to consider everyone's rights and interests and the possible consequences before we make a decision. According to this case, for chef, illness is a private matter which we cannot invade. At the same time, according to the Center for HIV Law and Policy, it can be known that the Title I and II of Americans with Disability Act and the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 exist to protect people with disabilities, including people living with HIV. From this kind of discrimination in the workplace, also for humanitarian reasons, we need to help him and protect his interests. In addition, considering the economic problems, the successful operation in the past three years cannot be separated from the chef's contribution. This can be said very well in the case. Uh, for example, the chef's dishes are liked and recognized by many customers. As a result, the restaurant would take a huge financial risk if it replaced the chef. For the other staffs, we need to protect their lives and health. At the same time, do not spread the shelf privacy in case of instability or panic among colleagues. Case material shows that a stable relationship with colleagues is a premise condition for successful restaurant operations. Therefore, managers should continue to maintain a good working atmosphere. For consumers, we need to make sure that the food we serve them is healthy and that we are responsible for their health. Therefore, we need to eliminate all possible hidden dangers, avoid unnecessary panic, to provide guests with a safe diet and environment. Hello, I'm Liu Xiaoguang. I'm going to demonstrate this problem by the perspective of human rights and justify. We believe that all humans should be treated evenly, with no prejudice, no privilege, and no discrimination. There is a key to help us define how to deal with others, called golden rules. It tells you that a better way to behave ethically is to always treat others as you want it to be treated. For example, if you want to be respected by others, you must be a nice person first. A corporation which properly treats staff who suffer serious disease will gain a very good reputation and can lower the risk of staff turnover, increase the employees' happiness, and make staff feel at home. We decide to keep head chief's illness as a secret. 
not only due to our utilitarianism, but also hold her personal privacy. The patient's personal condition was protected by law, according to the Act 148, passed in 2012. A, a healthcare provider or social service provider cannot share HIV test result without patient's permission. And the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, which is known as HIPAA, says that only patients can determine how their personal health information is used and disclosed. So, rather than fire her because of her illness, we prefer to talk with her, help her to solve her problem in a dignified way. On the other hand, there is some real-world example exist. In Toronto, there is a restaurant which holds by 14 staffs, and all the people working in the kitchen were HIV carriers. There is no evidence. That HIV virus can spread between chef and customers. Even the chef cut her hand when she was working. It is completely feasible that an experienced chef who suffered HIV and working properly in the kitchen. Even in the terms of fairness and justice, we should treat everyone fairly, no matter he or she is healthy or suffer disease. Numerous examples shows that HIV carriers can live with healthy people in peace. We think they really should be treated evenly. Next, I will introduce the solutions. In this situation, what should we do? Fire or not fire the head chef? Based on the theories and the considerations, as the manager of the food file. I suppose that we should not fire the head chef, because we should balance the rights and of the chef, employees, and consumers. First of all, as the manager of the restaurant, we should guarantee the safety of the consumers. Although HIV positive will not infect others through this way, consumers will feel uneasy and cause unnecessary panic eating in this restaurant when they know the truth. So we should transfer the position of the head chef, which could let the consumers feel safe when they know this truth. Secondly, the head chef is the key factor that makes the restaurant successful. So we cannot fire the head chef. If we fire the head chef, consumers will be conscious of the difference of the food. So we should let the chef training employees to cook the same kind of food, which could maintain the tasty of the food, as well as maintain the outstanding selling. Thirdly, let the head chef as the trainer to training employees to cook the food, which is an essential way to give the working opportunity to the chef. In this way, she will not feel the difference with other employees, and she will feel justice in this situation. So, all in all, we concluded that we will not fire the head chef and let the chef as the trainer to train the employees, not as the head chef anymore. This is our reference list. That's all. Thank you for your listening.